The defense says one of the men on the stand in the Lookout Valley murder trial today changed his story. I'm Cindy Sexton. And I'm David Carroll. Derek Morris is charged with killing three men and hurting another in 2014. Channel 3's Michelle Heron is live from Hamilton County Court with more on today's testimony. Good evening, Michelle. Good evening, David and Cindy. Now, testimony has wrapped up for the day. They will continue tomorrow for day four of this trial. Now, jurors heard from nine witnesses today. It was a busy one. They talked about evidence that was found after the shooting, a possible motive, and how investigators connected Derek Morse to one of the shooters. Surveillance pictures and their timestamps are what prosecutors use to lay out a timeline of where Derek Morris was before and after the triple homicide in Lookout Valley. These pictures show Morris at Walmart in Lookout Valley just before 4 o'clock on that day in April of 2014 with an unidentified person. Then just before 8 o'clock that night, Morris is seen in this video at a gas station in Trenton, Georgia. The video shows him with a different person. About 15 minutes later, video shows Morris back in Lookout Valley at a subway with Skylar Allen. Later that night, all three suspects are seen walking to and from a nearby hotel. But the most important testimony of the day came from this man, Brandon Jackson, the son-in-law of John Morris, who is one of the victims. Jackson told the jury about an altercation he had with Morris five days before the triple homicide. He pulls up and starts shooting. Okay. He opens the door and starts shooting. All right. Does he get out of the vehicle? No. Okay. He shoots from the vehicle. How many times does he get the I can't, I can't, can't excite him so much. Jackson's testimony may be the state's framework of proving premeditation to show Morse had a motive for the murders. But the defense tried to poke holes in Jackson's testimony, pointing out Jackson's story from the day of the shooting changed from his previous statements. Is that what you saw? That's not what you saw. Witnesses testified word of the shooting spread quick that night throughout the Lookout Valley community, as well as who could be responsible, creating another obstacle for attorneys who don't want hearsay tainting testimony. You've heard it since then, though. You've heard it there. It's not heard it a bunch of times. I've heard it a bunch of times. I mean, it's been running around the valley down there. That Derek Morris was involved in this shooting and shot John Morris and them, right? You got that cut. That's right. Now, the state may rest tomorrow. We've heard from a lot of witnesses from the state end, but if they rest tomorrow, then it will be the defense's turn. Now, we're already beginning to see a little bit of their argument here, and as you just heard, with them poking holes in a lot of the testimony today, and remember, it just takes one person, one juror to have a shadow of a doubt, and a lot is on the line here. That's because Morris is facing life in prison without the possibility of parole. We're following this closely, and we'll keep you updated. For now, reporting live in Chattanooga, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Michelle. Two other men, Skylar Allen and Jacob Allison, are also charged in the case. Allen is charged with three counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. Allison also faces murder charges as well as aggravated assault and vandalism charges from a different incident. All three suspects charged in this Lookout Valley case will be tried separately.